Hey, this is Mark from Sharpworks. And um, one thing I'm passionate about is engineer, engineering and design. Um, I love thinking of how to solve problems, coming up with new products. And so in this video, I want to show how I uh, went through the design process for this sharpener and also the professional version of this. And so after this short intro clip, it's going to switch over to videos I've taken, I took at the end of last year and beginning of this year, um, as I designed this sharpener. And it will go from the initial prototypes through kind of the final concept of the sharpener. And then after that, those videos, there are some uh, more refining of the idea. But in general, you'll, you'll see that by the end of the video series of the clips, that um, the general, the concept of the sharpeners there has been developed. And now the ones that I'm selling are very similar to it. So I'd be fascinated to know what people think of the design process. It's kind of just the way my mind worked through the problems I ran into. So if you have any like comments or suggestions, put them below. Uh, maybe it's something I could add to the design or do a prototype video on next. So please give me your comments and let me know what you think. This is uh, showing design progression. This is the first uh, prototype of this new knife sharpener I'm working on. Um, and I want to film as I go through the different stages of it and I uh, just show the design process and the thought that goes into this. So uh, a request I've received is to design a sharpener that ha will accept any size of stone. Uh, and so this design here, it's very rudimentary, but it would give flexibility in stone size. So that's the way it works. There's already some things I know that need to be fixed. Like it doesn't hold this at a constant angle, but I have some concepts for how to fix that. And also the, um, this binds here uh, with weight on it. So I have some ideas for solving that also that I'll probably show in the next version of it. Um, also the magnets uh, are a little bit weak. And so I need bigger magnets or have them closer to the, the metal on the knife. All right, here are some improvements I've made since the last uh, design iteration. You can see that there's two, there's two rods here now. Um, the reason for that is to prevent it from uh, rotating in this, in this axis. Um, and so then it holds the angle the knife is at uh, consistent. I've also added a more complicated mechanism here that allows pivoting in the, the vertical direction and also uh, along in the horizontal direction. So uh, also if you have a thicker stone that's like maybe three inches thick, you may need to elevate it. So I've added in a, a rod clamp that you can just lock and then it, it elevates that. So this, the, I've made no changes to the piece that holds the, the knife yet, um, but I have glued it to the rod so it doesn't, it doesn't rotate. And this is the usage. Next improvements I make will be an update to the part that holds the knife. I'm going to use uh, a stronger magnet, add probably a rubber pad underneath, and then also make it so it swivels on the uh, on the z-axis or the vertical 
the vertical axis. All right, so I've made a few changes since the last time I took a video. I uh, modified the plate that's supporting it and I turned it into just a, uh, a two and a half pound weight for like a home gym and because it was a little bit smaller than the other uh, railroad ties I was using. And in here it's, I added a, a shaft collar that can tighten and lock down the, uh, the rod so it's pretty rigid. Still not quite as rigid as I would like, but uh, it's still a big improvement. And then I modified uh, the knife holder so that it can swing all the way around on the, the Z axis. So it allows you to essentially put the knife at any orientation and maintain the angle uh, that, that you originally set it to. So it's also adjustable. The angle is adjustable so you can uh, loosen this thumb nut here and uh, pivot it up or down. I think it is essentially uh, able to sharpen from zero degrees to 90 degrees, uh, which is a great feature. Uh, you can't see it, but I, I updated the last version of the um, knife holder, which is here. It has a lot of um, sh shavings on it. And I added two of these magnets, so now the knife is very secure on there. So one, one limitation to it right now is the, uh, it requires about a, a minimum one inch blade. But I've been very happy with how, how well it, it works. It feels very natural. And one thing great about the design too that I've realized is you can, you can kind of set your knife at the center of the stone and then uh, you adjust where that is so that you get um, essentially a, a weightless knife. And so when you're at the middle of the stone, it's weightless. And so then you can adjust the pressure very easily. And you can also go at different angles and pivot. And then once you switch so your eyes switch sides, you just go like this. removed a lot of material. All right, I've made uh, the additional improvements. Uh, this piece is now on here. It's a, it's a more robustly designed uh, knife holder. You can't really see it probably easily on the camera, but I put in these rubber washers so that when they're squeezed, they really, um, connect and uh, lock, lock the angle in. I've also added in a rubber pad here uh, and that it's easier to clean. The, the dirt and debris from uh, sharpening doesn't get on there. And let's see, I've also attached the, the angle piece there. So and then earlier I think I showed that I put in the the new uh, holder. 
So let me set it up. It's already set at 15 degrees. Super smooth. I'm just loving using this thing. Like, I'm the designer, but it is something I will probably use the rest of my life unless I come up with a better idea. And this is the Lay's version of the sharpener. I, uh, I removed the weight stand and made it an integrated uh, post to hold it up, hold the, uh, the vertical guide. Um, I think it's really re reaching the end of the uh, fundamental design and from here we'll just be refining uh, small details on it. So the, I'll make it level And I'm ready to go. <clears throat> All right, so this is a, the Tormach small knife holder. So I'm going to put my knife in here. tighten this. The knife is now secure in here. It's very sturdy. Here I've already set it to 15 degrees. The way you set the angle is you loosen these bolt or nuts on both sides. There's two. Um, I'll switch these to thumb nuts eventually. I, you just slide it back and forth and I set 15 degrees. I've leveled this so the, the bar is horizontal. Okay, so I got one side and now I'm going to switch sides. And so what you do is Push this in, rotate it, pull it back so the, the cube goes back in the slot, and then you're ready to keep going. And then you're done.